So, so do you want to give me a, a wave, girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to give me a wave? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Thanks very much. Hello, Guy Richard here, and I'm with um, Joanne Julif um, in Glenmeath Library on a Wednesday, and uh, Joanne's going to tell us about what she's doing at Glenmeath Library on a Wednesday. Right, I run two, uh, two groups, well, two things in Glenith Library. So the most, well, the, the biggest one is the Mobile Drop-In Hub, which is from 12 till 4 every week. Uh, I work for Dementia Friendly Swansea. The Mobile Hub is an information, advice and support drop-in that anyone is welcome to visit at any, any point, don't need an appointment. If you want to find out anything about um, concerns with memory or if you're curious about anything to do with dementia, um, we're a signposting service. We can refer into memory teams, care service, sit-in services. Um, it's all about raising awareness of dementia and the difference that we can make to make people's lives easier, basically. So any Wednesday, 12 to 4, feel free to drop in and come and visit me. <laughs> And then at um, two o'clock, there's a social group run by Empower Inspire, uh, which is for people living with dementia and their carers. It's completely free of charge. It's a social group where you can play jigsaws, have a little break, have tea and nice biscuits. Um, Ooh, what biscuits? Oh, Tenex tea cakes is the favourite. <laughs> they are definitely the favourite because they always leave evidence around the faces. Everyone knows yeah. who's had a Tenex tea cake. <laughs> and, um, are they chocolate? Yeah, but they got marshmallow in the middle. Oh, of them. no, I, you know, I'm not familiar with those. Yeah, yeah. No, they're the, the favourites. Everywhere we go, they're the favourites. Yeah. Um, so, again, you can come there free of charge. A lot of the ladies from Trevor Glynn come, but um, anyone can come to that. So they run at the same time. But if you want to come and have a confidential chat, I'm here alone between 12 and 2. And from 12, 2 to 4, there's a few other people here. But the hub is, like, independent of the group. So... <laughs> so you've got 11 ladies here today we have yeah yeah and um so you run other groups in other places can you just tell us a bit about those yeah wearing my other hat i run a non-profit organization called empower inspire and i run seven groups i think then i've got two sunflower cafes one here one in um Thai Bar, I see Theodore's. I do three singing for the brains, one in Pontadawi, one in Cumbrach, and one in Margam, and two parenting groups. I don't know what that adds up to now. Two parenting groups, one in Blind Delight and Seven Sisters, and one in Reed of Raw. Um, yeah, so they're all about reducing isolation, promoting inclusion. Everybody's welcome to all of them. And how did how did you survive during COVID? Oh no, they were as a result, they they were created as a result of COVID. Oh, oh as a result yeah. of COVID, After right? After COVID, okay. I yeah. realised that I used to be a Weight Watchers leader, and I yeah. used to love the group. You know, that's, yeah. what, that's what floats my boat. And I yeah. realised after COVID, the people who were sociable before that weren't going out. So I sort of had a little think about what I wanted to do, and I so I applied for funding. Everyone wants to give you funding to start up. And I spoke with the vicar in St. Theodore's, and he said a lot of his parishioners who live in dementia had no support. So I was like, oh, I can do that. So we opened on the 3rd of October, 2022, and we were full, and we've been full every single week since. Yeah? yeah. So when you say full, how many is that? 25. Yeah. Oh, yeah, excellent. so that's in Thai Bark. And then yeah. I was singing for the brain in Margam. Um, I get 20, 25 people there every single week. Yeah. That's, you, we charge for that. We charge for the singing. Okay. Where in Margam um, is it? Bertha Road Community Centre. Okay. And Cumgrach Welfare Hall. That's brilliant as well. Is Bertha Road, do you know where the 12 nights is? Turn yeah. left. Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is it up? Behind you go up the road and then turn right. Yeah. yeah. My mother used to have a choir there in the 1960s. Oh, right. oh well, ours yeah. is not a choir. It's yeah. absolutely not a choir. <laughs> <laughs> so, in fact, I always say people go, I can't sing. No, it's about it's about the joy of music. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I can't really sing. I just yeah. love it. Yeah. So it's the joy of singing. And although I'm trained by the Alzheimer's Society, I was really big on I didn't want it to be just seen as something that that's what people living with dementia do. Yeah. So yeah. I went out of my way to try and promote it to everybody. And the first week in Markham, I had 18 people through the door, none of which lived with dementia. So I was yeah, like, yeah. 
Yeah, so that way. But you know, now we've got lots and lots of people, and we have people with learning disabilities, and it's just open to everybody. It's just wonderful. Yeah. And the one in Congrach has been open since your last January. Where in Congrach is it? Because there'll be lots of Congrach people from. The Miners um, Welfare Hall. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we get. 15, 20 every single week. Yeah, and we what days are On a Thursday, half Thursday. 11 to 11. Right. And we yeah. bus people over from Glenith. So we ah, pay yeah, for the yeah. Danza bus. Yeah. Um, so if you want to come, there's transport put on and stuff as well. Yeah, and the Danza bus will go from Trem Glen, will it? Yeah. Or, well, yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, we do that. It's, just, it's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm, I want to hear the songs. Eh? Yeah, I want to hear the Brilliant. Okay, thanks, John. Thank you. So, so do you want to give me a, a wave, girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to give me a wave? Yeah. Look at that. 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 Look at